Hi guys, I'm finally doing my first proper vlog and it's on journaling. Now I do journaling on and off for the past few years. Last year I really hit the bullet for bullet journaling where I'm actually, um, you know, have a weekly plan, a weekly spread and I'm sharing my daily activities in there and all my to-do lists, my goals and achievements and all sorts of things that I kind of log into there. This is my journal and I'll give you an up close to there in just a moment. Now, you might question why um, do people journal? There's several reasons uh, where you can you know, create a journal. It could be that you're processing your thoughts, um, decluttering your mind, um, you're organizing your routine, um, you're planning your activities, you're planning your goals, you're working towards achieving those goals, um, you're recording moments, you know, um, and gratitude moments as well. Um, they can be also um, captured in a journal. Um, some people are also doing habit track trackers. So where you monitor your habits, um, they could be from phone usage to, to healthy eating, exercise and so forth. Now, why do you want to journal? This is a question I actually asked myself. And one of the things I said was that I want to sort of um, uh, remember those memories. So recording those memories, I want to organize myself more. So because I'm working full time and I've got kids as well, so important dates and things like that, appointments, um, you know, school activities. Um, and then also I am doing Instagramming a lot. So anything to do with that, that content, I'm recording those there, helping to plan myself out there as well and achieving those goals as well. Um, I also have a page in my journal that I keep for decluttering my mind and just having a sort of a brain dump of things that I just, there's so much clutter up here sometimes that you just want to declutter and put it onto paper to help yourself. Um, and ideas as well and brainstorming. So, you know, I'm a very creative person, so I need that outlook where I can just write my ideas down in one place and have it all together and this is what this is for me so the mindset very important is before you begin a journal is having that mindset that nothing is perfect and there's no right and wrong way to do it do what works for you and um, don't worry if you make mistakes in your journal, don't worry if things go a bit squiffy, or you don't in complete your weekly planners, your monthly planners, don't worry about that. Keep moving, keep going, and um, don't stop, you know. Many times I've actually missed um, doing a spread for the week or even the month. You know, I've had some really, really busy periods in uh, the last 12 months and I've not been able to do that. I actually just do an outline of that month. I might not record anything in it and I move on to the month that I'm in or the week I'm in. Okay, otherwise we're going to be stuck there and you'll be like, you know, sort of demotivating yourself. So don't worry about that. Okay, now habit trackers. A lot of people are doing habit trackers. I personally am not doing habit trackers um, because what happens is sometimes when you monitor your um, habit, say you've forgotten to do it for two weeks, you kind of tend not to get back on track onto it and it kind of demotivates you. Okay, so you can do that, you can't do that. You can always um, add in a page, and which I have, which I'm going to show you, is a achievement page um, where you place down you, you sort of record your achievements for that month that week and i think that is brilliant because you time you get to reflect on what you've done in the past 30 days or past seven days or whatever and that can really sort of boost your motivation to do better and to excel further and reach your goals I also have in my bullet journal, the first page was made up of goals, 
where I have various goals that I want to achieve in life. Um, some are long goals, some are short goals, some are ongoing goals for a long time. So rather than having a New Year's resolution, I have a goal that I'm working towards. And these goals have been there for the past few years. I've achieved them this year in 2020. Some um, I wasn't expecting to achieve them, but I did. Some have been ongoing, like health and diet and exercise. That's an ongoing goal, I think, for everyone. And for me, I usually write this down and I have like a marker saying that, okay, my goal is to do a 5K marathon or a 10K marathon. I'm always gonna have that there. And um, I think, you know, it's a brilliant way to help you achieve that goal because you keep reflecting and seeing that and saying, OK, what can I do to achieve that goal? So you'll have that in the bullet journal. So I'm going to jump over and show, switch the camera around and show you what I'm actually recording in my journal. I'm using this journal. It's a dotted journal. And on the first page, I've made this lovely logo and with the year. Okay, and I did create an index, but honestly, I found that the index were, page was just, um, it, 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 it's, I don't think you need it unless you've got loads and loads of different sections and things. Because I was doing a monthly spread, I didn't really need that sections. And I had a key, I started off doing a key list, but even then I actually left that and kept things really simple. As you go through, I created a yearly spread, which I think is really helpful at the start of your journal. Um, I also created these pages, but as you can see, they're just penciled in and I didn't go back and finish them. And this one you might not be able to read. This is books I've read in January. So, but you know, it's no big deal. I did not complete that and I only read half of this book. Um, I think what I might do this year is just have a general um, book, books I read for the year list. Um, I think that might be better. So here are my goals that I have. Um, there's lots of different goals I have. I've also put sub, sub goals um, where, you know, helping me how I can achieve that main goal if I have those small goals as well. And I think this is just really important to do that at the start of your journal. And you can just go back and just add things as you go along. Now here is um, my January spread. As you can see, I did start off by doing a habit tracker, but I did not complete it. And, you know, I'm not going to do that this year either. So here I've got January, I've got a Dutch door method going on here. So I would create this page, cut it out and then do the other spreads. I'm using a mixture of washi tapes and I have these stickers. I also have watercolors and a brush and I'm just using these as an effect. So it's nothing very too extravagant at the moment here. And this is my spread where I've got the weekly spread here. So I've got Monday to Sunday. I've got the tasks here. I've got IG stories, my content planning that I'm going to be sharing, any notes, um, goal power progress that I have here as well. And I've also added, I thought, I didn't do this for the rest of the months, but I did this for January. And I really like this where it says focus, believe, dream and determination. I think it just is nice to have that in there. So you can see that I didn't complete, I got very busy in January. But you can always go back through your logs and see what you want to, uh, what you have achieved. Um, January achievements were these and lessons learned. I've got that, I think that's quite nice actually. It makes you a bit laugh that, oh my God, I did that and that was wrong. I've already, my layout changed a little bit. I had goals here written like this and books I read lessons learned and I had this one line a day which I absolutely love where I'm trying to write things that I'm grateful for each day um, definitely going to be carrying on and I think this is really nice to do as well and here you can see I'm just playing around with different layouts weekly spreads so I've not done that Dutch door for February 
um, but that doesn't matter you can play around it's your journal it is not for an examination that you're going to be entering in here March so in March I've, I've got this little calendar here which I think is very useful um, and sometimes I have a little quote make it happen seems to be the quote for March and I, again I've got this Dutch door going on and I've got snippets here I've done the gratitude on this side which I think is really cute um, and then just simple weekly spreads like this which are really helpful I have got bank pages now April month was really interesting um, when I was doing this spread I always have like a title page here for the month and I actually made mistake here so what I did I got some card and I pasted over here I actually drew this cycle um, but if you are not that confident in drawing you can just get some, any magazine cut out or anything at all and just stick it on top if you do make a mistake okay so I'm just recording things here on a weekly basis again I love this Dutch door I think it just looks so pretty um, but mind you those couple of weeks you might not get a lot in but it depends on how you're journaling and what you're recording as well um, this was my May spread again I've got these little flowers going on here this were done in watercolor um, and this was June spread so another Dutch door I started doing this spread which was for ideas and things like that but I didn't really carry it on and we know that we moved homes at this time so I just did a little spread at that time just to record this moment um, and July full of, it was a lemon theme um, and again you know I'm not always filling them out but I think it's always nice to actually reflect back and see what you have been doing here is August and this time around I created this spread which was really handy um, I didn't use it but it was great to reflect on I was meant to things just got really really great chaotic at that time um, what I've also got here is a spread like this which is goals achieved grateful for things I didn't do that I should have done things I need to do next month and I think this is nice as well blank pages for me to put in more things this was my September spread here I'm sharing another monthly spread as well and I'm just moving the boxes around for the weekly spread you know it's just what you're comfortable with <coughs> right here I've got a page of brain dump I really love this um, and I think this was great I also started creating a, a page for social media so I've got posts, stories and other things and this was a weekly things where I am I started to pinpoint the things that I need to do like in terms of collaborations and things I need to share and here I've got an October spread my title page and the achievements that I had made actually um, I've actually listed here and again I've got a monthly spread and this is my November spread as you can see this journal has evolved throughout the year and this is what I want to share with you that you can just let your journal evolve how you like so and that is it so now I'm going to start off with my next journal I actually decided to order these books now these journals these are dotted journals they're individual now the one idea is that you can actually do create a cover for them and add all the journals together 
So this could be a journal for, say, your work. This could be a journal for home. This could be your journal for recipes, I don't know. This could be your journal of your goals or your social media, etc. And you can bind them up together and do this. And, and it's kind of almost like a divider then in itself. And you can just log all your different things in here. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to do this or not. So you'll find out in following stories whether I did this or not. But this is an idea. Um, but I'm going to be using this. It's just a basic journal. And I think it worked really well last in 2020. And I'm sure it will work well for 2021. You can always buy additional journals. It's no big deal. Um, just don't get hung, hung up on perfection. Nothing is perfect. And this is not an exam where you'll be submitting your journals. This is you, your memoirs and your um, thoughts. And it's something for you to see in the future and how you progressed. And that's it. So guys, I hope you found that really, really helpful. Um, I'll be trying to share as I progress in the year with all my sort of um, journaling progress and I hope you find it really helpful. If you have any queries or comments or suggestions, please do share them in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, bye for now.